I genuinely feel wounded after that game. After that performance. Back in 2003, Ronaldo, R9, scored a hat-trick at Old Trafford and got a standing ovation. There was no ovation there today, but well, you're just witnessing greatness. Erling Haaland is going to break all the records. This City team, that was brutal. Genuinely, I feel physically wounded after watching that. Where do you start? Apart from talking about Erling Haaland. Or I could talk about Phil Foden. Or I could talk about Kevin De Bruyne. Gundogan. Grealish. The entire City team. Let it, it, they're not even levels above Manchester United. It, it, it is a chasm. There is, it's a different universe. It was an extremely, extremely humbling game there today. I, somehow we came away from it 6-3. We won the second half. But we can't celebrate that goal from... At, genuinely, just humbling. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Went into that game... <clears throat> worried. Scared. Did not expect that. And it wasn't just from Erling Haaland. Bill Foden got a hat-trick as well. All over the pitch. The one thing I wanted from this United team today was to show the sort of backbone that we've seen against Liverpool. We saw against Arsenal, Leicester, Southampton. But just like we did in the first two games of the season against Brighton and Brentford, we froze in the lights. It felt like that game was too big for that team at this moment in time. They cowered in it. They didn't know what to do up against a City team that were absolutely relentless, brutal. I don't know what superlative you want to de describe that game with, but to see what Erling Haaland just did to us. Three hat-tricks in his last three games. He's going to break all the records. He's going to break all the records. And I'm just glad that we've only got to play him one more time this season in the league. That was devastating. Devastatingly humbling for Manchester United. I, I went into that game today. My prediction was a 2-1 loss. Good luck if anybody predicted a 6-3 loss. My prediction was a 2-1 two, a two loss, but a game that I, I felt I wanted to see United come away from and go, you know what? They did everything that they possibly could. But in that first half, it, is, it wasn't just the fact that Haaland was indomitable and, and Foden was glorious. United were abysmal. We could not string a pass together. Christian Eriksen could not get on the ball. We couldn't put two passes together. We were going for the Hail Mary. Bruno kept looking for the ball up to Rashford. It was a ball to nowhere. And it was pressure, pressure, pressure. Bang, bang, bang. Early yellow card. For Diogo Delo on Jack Grealish, who tormented him all night. He kept getting doubled up, up on, on that side. They were having so much fun down that left. And we couldn't do anything. Foden got the first one. Haaland with the second. Moran was off for the corner. Well, could he have made a difference? I mean, who gives a fucking shit? We were going to lose that game anyway. Third. Penny for Ten Hag's thoughts after that game. I, I think he went into that match expecting... Not that. Just not that. As I said, if I'm going to try and I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm a positive person, right? But I can't really celebrate the fact that Anthony put in an absolute worldie. Two games from him in the Premier League so far. Arsenal and, C and City, two fantastic goals from him. Anthony Martial coming off the bench. He's our starting number nine. He would have been our starting number nine if he, was, if he wasn't injured. Two goals from the bench. That penalty right into the top bins. Cracking from him. And at the very least, we took advantage of the fact that City took their foot off the pedal. Which is, you kind of expect it if you're 4-0 up. But wow, as I said, I feel wounded by what I've just seen. 
And uh, I've always said that for United this season, we're looking at Liverpool. We're looking at Arsenal, Chelsea, Spurs. That's our level. That's where, we, that's where we're competing with. But this City team with Haaland and De Bruyne feeding Haaland, it almost feels like a cheat code. What, what can you do? Even if United were on point today, like we were in our previous four Premier League games, still think we would have got thumped. And we're lucky it wasn't more, really. To come away from that with a three-goal loss, somehow, feels like we salvaged something. And that's, that's a real stretch. A real stretch. But genuinely, I'm speechless. What the fuck is Erling Haaland? What is he? What, what are you supposed to do? Genuinely, wh how? How are you supposed to stop that? Honestly, I'm, I'm just, I'm staggered by it. But that's where United are. That's where City are. And, well, we all knew that they were, well, levels above us. I don't think we thought the level was going to be that big. Now, I don't think that Eric Ten Hag is going to walk away from this game, slam his players, start dropping everyone, making them go and do 17-kilometer runs, X, Y, Z. I don't think he'll do that after that. And I'm not going to be here trying to throw him under the bus. If I'm talking about individuals in that game, but Tom and I, an absolute stinker. Been so good in the last four games. Eric Ten Hag trusted his team, put the same 11 out there, and uh, exploded in his face. The trust was gone. The trust is gone now. Back to square one. And that's kind of what happens when you've got a month in between Premier League games. You can't, you can't hold momentum over a period of a month with no Premier League games in between. Ericsson was never on the ball. We couldn't pass it out from the back with the ball. And it just kept coming back. Again and again and again and again. And a goal and another one. And a 2-0 and a 3-0 and a 4-0. I'm not surprised that the away end was empty in a half time. Savage. Ruthless. Barbaric. I don't know what word you want to describe that performance. Attacking performance from City. And bear in mind, by the way. They didn't have their two starting centre-backs or their holding midfielder. They went and did that to United. It was back in 2011 when they beat us 6-1. 11 years later and what? Four Premier League? Five? See, I don't know how many Premier Leagues. I don't want to think about it. They've gone and scored six against us again in the Premier League. Eric's going to have to somehow take something from that game. It, it, it shouldn't be a result which derails our season. As I said, we are witnessing something which is, wow, a freak of nature, force of nature. Erling Haaland is going to break all the records and, well, he's just bagged three, got a hat trick on his Derby debut. I mean, I think you can probably tell in my voice here, like, genuinely, I'm just like, like a gut punch because I know and I knew that there is, and well, there, there is a golfing quality. But just the, 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 the brutal force of that performance. It was like a left hook, right hook, and an uppercut, and then a headbutt, and then a stamp on your face on the ground. Wow. I don't want anybody to take this match reaction as some sort of like, oh, blah, 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 like throwing everyone under the bus. Oh, all these tops and down. But Tomlin's got to go out to start at 11. Get Casemiro in there now. ASAP Rocky. And that's not just a reaction to that. It's like, you know, sign Casemiro to be McTominay's understudy, right? Get Casemiro in that team. But can we just bury that? Pretend it never happened. And never talk about it again. Ever. Please.